Hi, welcome back to the garage utility project that we've got going on. Uh, today is a bit of a challenge. We've got to move the old biomass boiler, which is up on a plinth. So stick around and we'll try and use some science and logic and heavy lifting to get it shifted. We managed to have a really good clear out and we're just down to basically the boiler itself. Everything's disconnected. We want to look at building a ramp down onto a pallet. I looked at some of the options for lifting and uh, they're either expensive to hire, the legs would need to go underneath it or either side of it, which is going to be hard. There is some gaps at the bottom, so potentially an engine crane or something like that would have worked, but if we can, I think we'll use gravity and we'll build ourselves a bit of a plywood uh, slide and try and persuade it down onto a pallet and then we'll manhandle the pallet, pallet along the floor, potentially with the use of the car. I'm not convinced I put this out on the video. Yeah, my only concern is that we get halfway down the slope and we've got so much friction going that way that the whole lot we get stuck. What we'll do is to take it so 60% of it's hanging off and just lower it down slowly and then we'll be able to yeah. see it. Move that slightly further forward so we get a bit of distance before we have to lift it up a little. That's good. Do we skewing it 10 degrees yeah. so in, maybe in that direction? Well it might end up doing that end with the width of the pole. Yeah. Thank you. 
you what that worked, didn't it? Stonehenge style. I guess if the Brits can move Stonehenge, we can move a boiler. And a lot cheaper than messing around with an engine crane or hiring a giant high lift pallet truck as well. Good old fence post. Well, hey, we, we managed. We've all got our fingers and toes still. Uh, I'm sure there will be better ways to do it, but I think we, uh, we did the best we could. So the boiler is down that end, the buffer tank's down that end, everything's on eBay. Happy days. Let's uh, leave that. Hopefully it won't be too bad to actually get that onto a van. Um, so that leaves me with a relatively blank, blank canvas this end. If I remember correctly, I went two boards of cement board, hardy backer, then there's travertine tiles, and there are an insulated plinth, really, because I wanted the whole thing to be uh, the same height as the new floor, but we're not going that route anymore, so it's all got to come out. Right, if I can somehow get the polystyrene off, and at least this stuff can be broken up and recycled into the, the rubble bin at the recycling centre. At least we haven't caused too much waste. But I did a good job, it's all bonded, it's like a sandwich. Or I can maybe just drop it on the floor. No, nope, that did exactly nothing. We could just leave this under the floor, which is not a bad idea. It's not going to cause any harm there. I'm going to do that. No, nope, that's too high. It's more about that high. Hopefully it'll break up in manageable pieces and I'll just stack it back inside the void. Because again, there's no point in getting rid of, it's just going to be a neat little plinth that'll be hidden under the subfloor. I'm not chucking rubble in here or anything. Oh. Well. It's going to live on, hidden away, but it'll live on. I've managed to t knock off one course and then put the top back on. So it's kind of, it'll always remain hidden, but it's better that way than carting around in the car and filling up skips. That's it for now. Remember, if you can, do it yourself. Do it like Stonehenge. And uh, we'll see you next time.